What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Welcome back to Mexico, baby. Oh my goodness, I love it. People just flying down the streets of Tulum here and uh, we are actually gonna go by our very first house. It's a beachfront home. And uh, believe it or not, it's actually gonna end up being free. So obviously you could buy properties all around the map similar to, to Forza Horizon 4. Each one comes with a uh, kind of like a perk with it. So uh, obviously you get the fast travel point, but you also get like, for example, this one right here, it's gonna come with the Forza-thon points boost. Over here on the West Coast, this one's $2 million. It gets you to fast travel instantly to any road on the map. That's actually going to be insane. So yeah, there's a, a bunch of properties you can buy. You get different... Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the bright yellow Lambo chilling on the beach here. That is... That is just beautiful. I love that. But I believe... Is it is it this one? Lugar Tranquilo? All right, let's do it. I'm going to purchase it. I believe... Um... Es pequeño but it's right in the heart of one of the most beautiful villages in Mexico. Right by the East Coast too. You're gonna love it. Okay, so this is gonna get us a super wheel spin. It's gonna get us the Horizon promo ability where we can take pictures of our cars and get rewards for them. You'll want to get a broom for all that sand. I mean, he said it's small. It doesn't really look that small. I, I don't know if we got both units top and bottom there, but beachfront property in Tulum. Sign me up for it. We could set this as our home. Sure, why not? We're going to spawn here from now on, and uh, it should uh, it should be a good time. Obviously, the Apex Festival is over here in Tulum, so that's going to uh, allow us to take part in more road races. Now, uh, next up, we need to earn 1,350 more accolade points to be able to continue on our journey, and uh, I'm thinking let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it with a, a street race here. We unlocked street racing in the last episode, and uh, I mean, we had kind of like a little tutorial one, but we didn't have a full on street race, so I'm excited to go check it out. Dusk is upon us, and uh, it's time to get wild, baby. Here we go. Our first official street race out here with all the hooligans and crazy people breaking the law and. and Hopefully we're going to be able to make a name for ourselves in this circuit. But um, we actually, we changed some things up from that first episode. Uh, we're back on Xbox Series X now. So I, I did play the first episode on PC. You guys know I've got a beast of a PC. 3090 in it and all kinds of stuff like that. For whatever reason, sometimes I run into issues still. I don't know. It's it's like fully maxed out and I, I still get frame ratey sometimes. And it didn't like having anti-aliasing turned on. Whoa, we are... Are we on the same difficulty as yesterday? Because we're flying through here. I'm pretty sure we're still on expert. But we just absolutely dominated the competition there. Anyway, it didn't have anti-aliasing on, which makes some of the corners of cars and stuff just like a little pixelated. So it wasn't looking that great. I thought, you know what? The Series X looks so good, dude. The game is, has been kind of built for it in a sense. So if we can't run everything at max power, let's just drop back to the Series X because it... it Still looks absolutely astonishing. This guy's gonna mess up my line here, aren't you? Yes, you are. We got a tight quarter right there. There it is, baby. Um, I also turned um, the music down a little bit. So my, my main thing is I want you guys to be able to, to hear the cars, uh, especially when I'm not blabbering. So I, I bumped up the gameplay volume a little bit. Bumped down my voice volume a little bit, and then I also turned down the, the in-game radio, like the music, down to 50%. I feel like we might be able to go up to like 60. I don't know. It's it's nice to fill those those gaps. You know, it kind of feels like you're on like a, a Sunday drive, and you've got like the radio kind of going lightly in the background, but I don't want too much, too much music. So let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of thinking maybe a little bit, a little bit more, like a 60 or a 70%, but... Uh, the main thing I want to hear is the, the purr of these engines, baby. Whew, look at that corner using every bit of the road. Not having to break at all. Dude, we dominated. This street race scene is for me, man. Holy cow. That, that was the most convincing win we've had by a long shot. Nicely done. Let's see where we're at here. Ooh. New adventure chapter sounds good to me. 
to be able to unlock adventure. something else. Perfect timing. So, where should we go? What should we do? I'm thinking we've done pretty much everything on road so far. Let's let's head off, bro. We're gonna go to some ah, dirt racing. Horizon Wilds. If you love dirt racing, this is perfect. <laughs> the the big cat of La Selva. Ooh. Hola, my friend. Whipping the Wrangler. So, Rami, you said something about a big cat. A long story. I tracked it all the way into the jungle, but lost my notes. Uh, why don't I explain it on the way? First, let's retrace my steps. We head south, across the highway, and over the hills. Vámonos! Hmm. I thought big cats would avoid major highways. <laughs> Not this one, my friend. Is he talking about Next, like a... I turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Moleje. A hellcat? Or what kind of a cat would be off-roading? I'm trying to figure Welcome out... Welcome to Moleje. My aunt, Tia Rosa, what this would be. runs a stall in the craft market. She was the one who first told me about the big cat. Now I have your help, I'm sure we'll find it. Just love that we're Next, bombing through everything here. Bridge and into the jungle. We're getting close. Hold up, Rami. You owe me a long story. Pardon, let me explain. I was given coordinates of where this big cat was last sighted. Oh, but it's a barn find. problems on takeoff. I barely got it off the ground. So you dumped your cargo? Exacto. I lost everything, and I never even saw the cat. But now you're here to help. And it's on the way. Is it going to be an old school jaguar barn find? It'd be a big cat, right? I don't know. Kind of exciting, I guess we'll never know. I left my car at the far end of the runway. All my stuff, including my notes, should be in the flight cases. You think you can find them too? This big cat has a car, right? I'm guessing Jaguar? Obviously! Sorry, did I not mention? <laughs> it's a barn find. Drop me off at my car once you've found it. Okay. So now we've uh, I mean obviously we're gonna want to try to hit all these accolade points here. Uh, discover the lost barn, find notes, find the pilot outfit. I mean, it looks like there's something literally right here. Hello. Do I drive, drive through it? Am I supposed to break it? Am I supposed to run? Ken, you found my notes. Tia Rosa said the Jaguar was abandoned by its owner 20 years ago. I've marked out the rough location on your map. Got to be a bit more aggressive with it, I guess, Trav. Just bust Life through this corner. stuff. It's designed to survive any crash. I'm maybe not getting run over by a car, but I don't see you getting out to grab it. Oh, shoot. How are we going to get that? What do you want me to do there? Ah, hold on a second. Come up here. Go to the right. Oh there God, it is. Dude. Uh, what were you wearing to fly the plane? My spare flight suit. What did you think? You can keep it if you like. <laughs> Gonna look for, uh, is there anything else? We're looking for Ramiro's pilot helmet and his rainy day funds. Could be hidden anywhere in here. I kind of like these exploration missions. You get to know the map a little bit better. It's not bad. Whoop. Discovered something right there. Looks like it's gonna be back this way. Yep, up on top of the box, and it looks like there's a ramp to be able to get up there. So should be able to do the same thing as last time, but we didn't have enough speed. Enough speed, but not too much. There it is. All right, let's grab this. How come you were carrying a hundred thousand credits? Oh, my friend, just some winnings I made on the street scene. And one final one. Oh, come on, dude. Make sure we get enough there, speed here. Drop me around here when you're ready to leave. We're not ready yet. Miro, come on. Huh. My Got it. Helmet. Gracias, my friend. I've been looking for this one. Should be able to drop him at the end of the runway. Let's go find this Jaguar. Here we go. Gonna scout out some new areas for some races and find some cars along the way. Don't mind if I do. Are we racing right now? Gotta 
follow the river upstream. <laughs> this is... Follow me! You'll get lost if we follow the river! <laughs> Sounds good to me. Just gonna drive right on... <laughs> right on through it. How would you like to visit some old friends along the way? <laughs> Absolutely! Take the lead there, Rami. There it is. I had to slow down a little bit for him. Welcome to Xmal! Once the most powerful city in the region. But I'm afraid we missed my friends by about a thousand years. <laughs> Dude, this is so incredible. Oh, I can't wait to cut. There's, there's got to be so much stuff hidden in there. XP now. boards and fast travel <laughs> boards and stuff that's tough to get to. Ale and I used to raise buggies around here when we were teenagers. <laughs> I always won. <laughs> well, we'll see. I hope you've grown out of your rivalry. We'll rivalry? see if that streak continues here, but In Mexico, we call that family. The difference from, like, Tulum, where we started with the, the you know, beaches and the beautiful houses and the Let's hotels and palm trees. This is Agua Azul. We're so close now. Keep going. <laughs> Oh god, what just happened? Don't worry, I'll get him back, baby. But yeah, that We're that whole area. The of the jungle now, my friend. It's just us and the wildlife of La Selva. These roads are treacherous, only reached by the most capable cars. <laughs> Compared to this? Parachute down from cargo planes. <laughs> uh, yeah, those two. Slang and mud through the jungle. I, I just said, have we ever had a Forza game that's been this varied in terms of? Locations? Be back, my friend. Big dirt racing fans. Are those howler monkeys? We didn't have them back in the UK. Your jungles must be very boring. And here we are. The waterfalls are right around the corner. Cascadas de Agua Azul. What do you think? Is the Mexican Made it jungle good enough for Alex and the best dirt racers in the world? It's perfect. I just hope the dirt racers are good enough for the Mexican jungle. Got ourselves a 2007 Huegat Super 2000. I guess we're not actually going to be going for that barn find. We are going to be checking out all the barn finds in the game. Don't you guys worry about that. But um, still got a car at the end of it. Thinking all the way through that jungle. This place would be perfect for dirt racing. Funny. <laughs> I had the same car. Sick. So welcome to Horizon Wilds, brand new outposts, our home for dirt racing. Check it out, Horizon Wilds, a little festival of my own where we celebrate all things dirt racing. Oh, this is going to be good. I've started you off simple with a few events and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty. Welcome to the wilds, baby. I'm actually kind of excited to see what these are about. Are they, is it off-road? I think, I think it's like a mix of on and off-road. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is the La Selva scramble. We've got three laps around this circuit. Let's see what we can do. Obviously we don't really have any like major off-road builds or anything right now. I haven't really dug into buying any new vehicles or anything like that. Nice little drip tap, we'll take it. Get a little e-brake, slide around the corner. There it is, okay, so from asphalt to dirt. Our little Evo here can do it all. I believe we got this from pre-ordering the game or maybe it was a bonus for playing a previous Forza. I have no idea, but it's, it's pretty solid, dude. So this is kind of, I would say, is Wilds kind of like Rally? Because obviously Rally, you kind of have a bunch of different, you know, textures and, and things that you're racing around on. So it kind of, kind of gives me that vibe. You got to be a, a jack of all trade. You got to be a wild man. I guess is the, uh, the feel that they're going for. Be able to move up into P2 here. No. Little tap of the wall never hurt anybody here. We do to all the water and everything that's going on it's just ridiculous hold on now we get you on the inside there thought you had me i don't think so we got wang chang wang chang 92 to catch up to we got two laps to be able to do it 
Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, baby. Don't want to go too... Too hard. I feel like we might be using a little bit too much of the E-brake. In that corner right there. I think braking in a straight line. You know, E-braking at a 90 degree angle sliding the whole way is, is pretty cool. But I feel like braking in a straight line and then attacking the corner is going to be a bit better. But it does look like we're starting to catch up to this dude. I'm going to turn up the music just a little bit. So we're currently on 50. I'm going to go, let's let's say like six, 62. Nice, nice precise number right there. See, we've kind of got it a little bit in the background here. I feel like that's, that's a bit better. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Obviously, this is the most screaming engine that we have, so... Music's gonna sound even louder, but um, yeah, I don't know. They, there's just something about Forza that's a vibe, dude. You, you kind of have to have a little bit of the music in there. That was the, the 90 degree turns that we're making. Those those are where we're really slowing down. We're gonna have to have a clean final lap here. This section is the easy part. Oh my goodness, dude, he is flying on us. Oh my goodness, dude, just absolutely. Getting it. Let's see, here we go. Breaking a straight line. Try to keep that momentum a little bit. There it is. That's what we needed. Now we just need to make sure we do that on the final corner out of the dirt. And we might be able to catch him, but I don't know. He's... He's looking pretty solid. Whew. We're close, dude. So close I can taste it. Come on, Trev. Try to cut any corners you can. I don't know if there's like a shallower part of these rivers you can cross to where you don't touch them as much, but whatever you can do. Oh, dude, we, we've got them. We're there, but we're gonna need a good final corner. Come on, baby. Just do what you gotta do to get up there, Trev. If you gotta run into them, you gotta run into them. He got us on that last corner right there. I'm going for it. Got to do what you got to do, man. And that's that's dirty racing, but hey, that's extra credits in our pocket and more vehicles in the future. We, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not going to make a habit out of that, but sometimes got to throw the elbows out a little bit. I think we didn't have enough ground clearance for the, the water. I think the water was slowing us down more than, than a lot of other people. I don't know. I don't know. We got the win. That's all I know. I mean, we had to check out the cover car eventually, baby. Here we go. We've got a uh, point to point wilds event here. Should be interesting. I hope y'all are hungry because breakfast is here. I got that OJ, baby. About to just run all over these fools. Better watch, watch your necks because your boy's coming for it. Here we go. I mean, I feel like in the Bronco, if we were ever going to race dirty, this would be the time to do it. Let's see what happens. So, so yeah, this is this is going to be another Wilds event, but it's a point-to-point. A -point. It's a dirt race, but it's a point-to-point. -point. We don't have the multiple laps. We're just going from one location to another, and we're about 21% done. I will say, I remember back back in Forza Horizon 4. Let's hop inside this thing. I feel like we're wheeling the, the big rig. Um... The point to points were always way easier. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if the AI is not as aggressive. I feel like a lot of the point to points, they get a little bit crazier in their their roots. So like you can you can kind of cut corners a little bit more, get a little bit more crafty with your angles on each checkpoint. Maybe that's what it is. Whereas the circuits are oftentimes pretty limiting in what you can do, but I just I feel like out here it makes it a bit easier to to get a little bit crafty with it. We'll see what happens. Shoot, dude, I'm trying to get around this wrap if we can. Gotta do it. Woo! Hit that e-brake. Slide that thing on in there, beautiful. Just got an optic diesel to beat. What is he in? Is that, is that like a Colorado or something? I know they added some new, some new trucks that we haven't seen before this year, so. Kind of excited to see. 
what comes of it. That's a, uh, oh, oh, that's a Hilux. No. What is that? Is that a Mercedes? I'm gonna be real with you. I have, I have, I have no idea what that is. Okay, I, I'm just gonna hope I can, it, it's, it's a little, you know, mid-sized truck. Should be able to, uh, to make quick work of it. I just noticed right there that the bank on the left had less water than on the, the right. There's so many little things like that. So you guys remember in episode one, the, um, the puddle of water in our very first race that we spun out on had to restart, like literally my first race of the game. Um, that disappeared when the season changed, which, I mean, you know, obviously you kind of expect that, but like that puddle was protecting a tight corner. So like in the, the winter, I couldn't take that corner, but then I did the race again before I started this episode here in the spring, because we switched seasons to spring for the, the launch of the game. And the puddle wasn't there, so you could cut that corner really, really tight and improve your times. Just kind of interesting. So the, the tracks are all morphing and evolving as the seasons change. And I think there are going to be little things like that. If you're paying attention, you're going to be able to benefit from. The Tulum Trail. Here we go. We are going to be in our third and final off-road vehicle that's currently in the stable. Obviously, we're going to have to expand our horizons for off-road vehicles eventually guys pardon my pun but uh, yeah here we go it's gonna be another point to point using the uh, the Hoonigan escort here this thing is she quick boy oh my goodness she is fast maybe a little bit too fast I love it made that corner that's gonna put us in p4 right on the very start but yeah this is gonna be another little point to point we're trying to farm up these accolade points really I, I think my main objective is to get all of the the outposts unlocked just so we have everything available to us and then we're gonna branch off and kind of do our own thing so these quick little point to point should farm up those accolade points pretty easily just have Scott left here Mr. Game Riot Army come on baby Got to get around them here. Ooh, I, I like this trail a lot, dude. This is nice. Going through the mangroves. We had, like, a, a good, solid on-road section at the start where we built up a lot of speed, and now we're going through the swamps. I feel like you like your, your line really matters when you're going through the water. You got to start really taking that into consideration. Beautiful. All right, let's hop inside this thing. Feel like I'm Kim Block, baby. Nearly missed our checkpoint on the first one right there. Try to get a little bit too too crafty with it. Whoop. Gonna be going back off road. Got to turn turn right to go left. Turn left to go right, baby. Lightning McQueen taught us that. Oh my goodness, dude! This is everything. Just looks so good. Hop back outside hear this beautiful thing there's so much uh like the, the the turns are so banky in here it feels like i'm on an off-road nascar track or something kind of fun feels like we're surfing around not just racing 80 percent of the way through and I, I i think i think that surfing is is what's helped us we really I feel like this expert difficulty is a little bit too easy sometimes, but other times I feel like it's just right, so. Just got to be careful with it, I guess. Going to end things off here, heading down the beachfront boulevard. One final left, and that's going to be a wrap. Okay. Another race, another win, baby. We'll take it. So we are, uh... We're about 800 points off, I think, or maybe, yeah, 850 accolade points. So I'm, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run this. This is the closest race to us here, just to mix things up. We don't have another off-road vehicle. I'm trying to like bounce around and have all kinds of different stuff. So let's do a little on-road race. Our best car that we have so far is the Intensa Mocione Welcome Pack car. I, I, it's a 
2018 Apollo. I mean, it's the, you know, one of the fastest cars in the game. So let's check this out. We're going to street race this thing. You know, take it a, a crazy, uh, I'm assuming, multi-million dollar hypercar into a street race. An illegal street race seems, you know, at, at dusk seems like a good idea. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. But yeah, this should give us the last 850 accolade points that we're looking for. And then we should be able to uh, expand into new new horizons, new new beyonds, the, the great beyond. Should be fun. Pretty sure we have we've got a PR stunts HQ that we need to unlock. We've got um, ooh, this is way 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 more like white knuckle driving than what we've been having off-road. I mean, the off-road's fun because it's all slow and you're just kind of like looping corners together. This is like low-key terrifying. 34% of the way through. Come on, Trev. I'm gonna hop inside. What kind of a... Duh! Just right in the uh, rear end. Okay. That was, that was not clean racing. I apologize. I was just... Whenever I switch... Switch views. Sometimes it it takes a minute to get reacclimated and figure out what's going on. You gotta always be glancing down at the mini map too. Woo! Got him. Up at a P4. Oh my god, dude, we're going so fast. We are a hundred percent gonna have to have to get more more hypercar things in here. Your boy's gonna have to earn some money so we can we can unlock some more hypercars. These races are just buck wild. Oh, I mean, it could have been worse. I was expecting to bounce off that guardrail right there, and I thought it was really going to slow us down. Didn't even drop the position. Obviously, not, not prepared for that corner at all. Everything's just happening so fast. You have no chance. Like, you're not, you're not going to react to it. You got to be anticipating the next move at the end of uh, at, at the you know end of each corner and, and using the mini map down the bottom. Is what I'm trying to say. So, wow, that I, <laughs> that got the blood pumping. That was great. Third place. Okay, definitely a lot more challenging there. So maybe we need to start adjusting the difficulty depending on what style of racing we're doing. Kind of a, a good point there too. But um, not bad, man. That was. Uh, that was pretty exciting. So, that should give us enough enough points. Please tell me we've got enough points. Let's see where we're at. New Horizon Adventure Chapter has been unlocked. I have blueprints for a bunch of new adventures, and you have decisions to make. So, technically, there's still a ton of upgrades here. Like, at each one, we can upgrade multiple times. It's going to give us more races and that kind of thing, which is kind of exciting. But we've got Baja Cross Country Racing, as well as PR Stunts. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we're to go Baja here. Horizon Baja, eh? Perfect location for the cross-country racing outpost. Explore an active volcano. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. That sounds absolutely epic. We are going to finish Alex, things up Miro, then. I thought we might be able to finish it this episode, but it's honestly... When this is opening. Great news. I'll tell them all very soon, July. It's honestly quite the uh, quite the task to be able to unlock everything. I thought it was going to be quick, but I, I kind of like that it's not. So, yeah, I'm going to come back next episode. Amigo. We're going to unlock this one as well as the... We show Horizon why the Baja is home to the biggest off-road race on Earth. And if we have time, we might set up an outpost or something. Perfect. So, yeah, we're going to set up that. We're also going to set up the, uh, the PR stunts outpost, and um, it should be a great time. At that point, we're going to have everything unlocked. We're going to be able to... Uh, really start getting into the uh the thick of it so hope you guys are excited for it thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you guys in our next episode peace out